the man who married an angel. In the days of yore, the celestial bodies of God had directly perched in the man's land many times, and Long Sa village was no exception. decided to ask the villagers around in order to confirm the culprit. Ahoy! Ata! Ahoy! What's wrong? Have you seen any suspicious people in the Yanra pond these days? No, I haven't. What's wrong? Somebody has been messing with my pond lately and as such, I'm having trouble fetching clean water. Hmm. Well, I have no idea. I'm sorry. Ata! Ata! Have you seen any suspicious people by the Yanra pond these days? No, Ata, what's wrong? Somebody has been messing with my pond lately, and as such, I'm having trouble fetching clean water. Hi, Koho, Ata, it must be hard for you, but I have no idea. Ntang Shan tried asking the villagers, but to no avail. He was sure it was one of the villagers, and thus he pondered. If they won't admit to their wrongdoings, I will have to catch them myself. Ting Shan decided to wake up early one fine morning and visit the pond in secret. A few minutes later, the sky cracked open and a flock of beautiful angels came down, humming sweet melodies and braiding each other's hair. as the angels kept their wings down and played around. had to part. I'm sorry, we have to leave. No, just don't leave me alone. Just don't go. <laughs> the unfortunate angel, or as the Lota people call her, Bozo Lori, remained weeping by the bone as she could not take the spear out of her wings. The story about Bozo Lori spread fast. And the village councils, the villagers, gathered at Yan Rapon in zero minutes. Ah, 
I, as the Chairman Council of Longsa Village, take this woman under my wing. From now on, she will be my daughter. So listen, proud men of Longsa Village, whoever take this bear out of my daughter's wings will be granted it as a gift, and my daughter as his wife. Hearing this, all the men in Longsa Village tried to muzzle up their energy and take the spear out of the wings. <laughs> Unfortunately, no one succeeded as the entire village was feeling dejected and Tung Sha appeared from behind the bush. Chairman! Chairman! Oi. I would also like to participate. Go ahead. You are a protector and husband of my daughter. Thus, Ntung Shan became the man who married an angel. For many years, the couple remained happily. As the years went by, the couple had one lovely son and a very pretty daughter. They were indeed a happy family. However, every time Bojolori babysit the kids, they would throw them germs unlike when they were with their father.
lived with her son peacefully in the realm of angels for several years. some time now and nothing weird has happened to me so far like all this I'll be careful if you say so I'll allow you to go go and pick your things thank you Ayo. no no come here yes Ayo. no no take this never open it <laughs> bring it as it is I do not make mis mistake of opening okay I'll keep that in mind all right The son meets up with his friends and they have a fun evening together. They sang songs and made jokes the whole night. It was going fine until the son got curious. Perhaps it was because of the wine they had shared, but he could not refrain himself. What is this that Ayo gave me? I think it wouldn't hurt to just take a look at it once. Mother yourself useless ashes and ask me to take care of it. Right then, the angels the son was hanging out with all became flies and vanished from the sight. He was suddenly in the middle of nowhere. When he was panicking, he remembered what his mother told him when she was leaving Earth. Ayo! Ayo! Son! Son! Ayo! Ayo, where are you, Ayo? You can't see me, but I'm right beside you. Listen carefully to what I have to say. Yes, Ayo. You can't see me. Yeah, uh, do you see the ashes are ready for you? Yes, but I cannot comprehend why would you give such things to me? That is a reminder that you're only human. You and I are different. What do you mean by that? We have lived together for quite some time now, and nothing has happened so well, so far. This is the realm of the angels, like I couldn't stay where I didn't belong. You also cannot stay where you don't belong. Now take the ashes, close your heart, and call your father from the bottom of your heart. And you shall find yourself amongst the people of your kind. Abba! Abba! he was instructed by his mother and he found himself in the midst of his father and sister. Genesis 3.19 reminds us, and with thus you shall return. This folktale is based on a Lota mythology reminding ourselves of our place in the greater cosmic scheme of things. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the crown, for out of it you were taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return.